Do you value your privacy over a free premium subscription? In this digital age, privacy has become a commodity. It's a currency that we often trade, knowingly or unknowingly, for convenience, for access, for those tantalizing offers of free or discounted services. The rise of the internet and technology companies has seen an unprecedented exchange of this currency, often at the expense of our personal security. The allure of these freebies often masks the true cost, our privacy. It's a price tag that's not immediately visible, but its implications are far-reaching. We're living in an era where our personal data, our habits, our preferences, and even our identities are constantly being collected, analyzed, and sometimes exploited. In recent times, we've seen a trend of companies offering attractive services, usually at a discounted rate, or even for free. But there's always a catch. In most cases, this involves some form of data collection or privacy compromise. It's a delicate balancing act between availing these services and protecting our privacy. And now, we have a new player entering this high-stakes game. Telegram, a platform known for its commitment to security, has introduced an intriguing offer. But this offer raises more than just eyebrows. It raises serious concerns about the value we place on our privacy. Now, let's dive into what Telegram has up its sleeve. Telegram, a platform known for its security, has introduced a new feature. Meet the peer-to-peer -peer login program. Telegram, a name synonymous with privacy and encryption, has decided to shake things up a bit. The peer-to-peer -peer login feature, or P2PL as it's being called, is a unique program that offers users a free subscription to Telegram's premium plan. But what's the catch? Well, it's not as simple as you may think. In exchange for the free premium membership, users are asked to forward one-time passwords, or OTPs, to fellow users. Essentially, your phone number becomes a conduit for these OTPs. It's like you're volunteering your phone to become a postal service for Telegram's verification codes. Now, this feature isn't available to everyone. Currently, it's only accessible on Android phones, and even then, only in select countries. So, it's not quite a global feature yet. But here's where it gets interesting. You might be thinking, free premium subscription, count me in. But hold your horses. As the old saying goes, there's no such thing as a free lunch. And this is no exception. While it may seem like an attractive offer, there are some significant considerations to keep in mind. For starters, this feature exposes your phone number to other users. It undermines the very essence of multi-factor authentication and could potentially lead to privacy concerns. And that's the crux of the peer-to-peer -peer login feature. It's a departure from Telegram's usual emphasis on privacy and security, but it's a calculated risk that Telegram is willing to take, and it's up to you to decide whether you're willing to take it too. Sounds simple enough, right? But the devil is in the details. This new feature, however, brings with it a host of security concerns. Let's delve deeper into what these concerns are. First up, we've got the glaring issue of exposing phone numbers. With the introduction of Telegram's peer-to-peer -peer login feature, users are essentially putting their phone numbers on display for complete strangers. This doesn't just open the door to potential spam, but also paves the way for more malicious activities like fraud. Now, let's move on to the undermining of multi-factor authentication. We're all aware of the importance of this security measure. It's that extra layer of protection that keeps our accounts safe. But with this new feature, that safety net is significantly weakened. One-time passwords are being sent around like hot potatoes and there's no telling where they might end up. What's more concerning is that Telegram, known for its commitment to user security, seems to be stepping back from its responsibility. The company disclaims liability for any repercussions stemming from this feature. Yes, you heard it right. If anything goes wrong, you're on your own. This is a drastic departure from Telegram's usual emphasis on privacy and security. And there's another aspect we need to consider. Even though users might be enticed by the savings they'd make from a free premium subscription, they might end up paying more through their phone bill. Not to mention the potential charges users may incur from their carriers. So it's not all sunshine and rainbows on the financial front either. All these factors combine to create a risky landscape for users. And the potential gains? A premium subscription that, when weighed against the risks, seems less and less appealing. So the question is, are the cost savings worth the potential risks? As we move forward, it's crucial to consider this question carefully because at the end of the day, your privacy and your security are priceless. 
The introduction of this feature has stirred quite a debate. Indeed, it's not every day that you hear about a messaging app asking its users to trade their privacy for a premium subscription. The reactions from users and experts alike have been a mix of surprise, concern, and downright disbelief. Many users have voiced their concerns over the potential privacy risks associated with this feature. There's a growing fear that this could potentially expose their personal information in ways they had not anticipated. Some have pointed out that the value of privacy far exceeds the cost savings offered by a free premium subscription. The experts, on the other hand, have been more skeptical. They've questioned the integrity of a feature that seems to undermine the very essence of privacy and security that Telegram has always prided itself on. Some have even gone as far as to label this as a privacy nightmare. The controversy surrounding this feature is not without reason. The potential for phone numbers to be used for spam and fraudulent activities has raised red flags in the cybersecurity community. Critics argue that Telegram's disclaimer of liability does little to assuage these concerns, leaving users vulnerable to the potential misuse of their personal information. It's also worth noting that the instructions given to participants to not engage with recipients of OTPs lack an enforcement mechanism, adding to the concerns over potential misuse. The consensus among experts seems to be that this feature, while innovative in its approach to cutting costs, poses significant risks to user privacy. Many have advised users to weigh the potential risks against the benefits before deciding to participate in this program. In conclusion, while the allure of free premium access might be tempting for some, the general consensus appears to be that it's simply not worth the risk. And that, dear listeners, is a sentiment we can all learn from. Privacy, once lost, is not easily regained. So as we navigate this digital landscape, let's remember to tread carefully. So, where does this leave us? We've delved into the depths of Telegram's new peer-to-peer -peer login feature, and it's clear that this is a complex issue with many facets to consider. On one hand, there's the allure of free premium access. Who doesn't love a good deal, right? But at what cost? This feature, in its essence, is a trade-off between convenience and privacy. You're essentially volunteering your phone number to be used as a relay for sending one-time passwords. Sure, you get a free premium membership, but your phone number is out there visible to strangers. And let's not forget about the potential for spam, fraud, and other nefarious activities. And then there's the issue of multi-factor authentication, a cornerstone of digital security. This feature as it stands undermines the very concept it's a risky game to play, especially when we are talking about a platform that has always prided itself on security. There's also the matter of potential charges from your phone carrier. While the free premium membership might seem appealing, you could end up paying more in the long run. And that's without even considering the potential emotional cost of having your privacy violated. Finally, it's important to remember that Telegram has made it clear they assume no liability for any repercussions. This means you're on your own if things go south. So, is this a risk worth taking? That's a question only you can answer. But remember, it's essential to make informed decisions about your digital privacy. Weigh the benefits against the potential risks. Ask yourself if the reward is worth the potential fallout. Remember, in the digital world, free often comes with a price tag. So think twice before you give away your privacy for a freebie.